The Mississippi River runs through or along 10 states, from Minnesota all the way down to Louisiana. It's one of the world's great commercial waterways. In Western Kentucky, farmers and industries send their goods to American markets and across the world from the Hickman River port on the shores of the mighty Mississippi. The harbor is 6,000 feet long, and it's by 450 feet wide, depending on the water. And the water does come up and down quite a bit, so that's a big variable. Um, being the only still water harbor uh, on the Mississippi River definitely has its advantages as far as loading and unloading barges. We don't have to deal with the current that comes off of the main Mississippi River channel, which makes it safer for loading and unloading barges. The Hickman-Fulton County River Port Authority um, is actually over the Hickman, the Elvis Star Harbor here in Hickman, Kentucky. We have tenants here uh, where barges are loaded and unloaded. Um, we are more or less the one in charge of the harbor trying to make sure that we get funding for dredging uh, of the Hickman Harbor so that all of our community and the businesses here can still operate. There are four businesses that actually use the harbor. Um, our property, on our property, we have one of those businesses that we actually load out barges for. Um, the other businesses are one business privately owned, and the other business is a, is a corporate uh, loading facility. I'll go on about 10, let's see. All right, I'll go. See, the trick here is not to crash. The name of the boat is Marilyn Roncalli. That's my wife, it's named after my wife. And I do have a son that's uh, as a boat pilot now. And uh, he's a very good, very good employee. And uh, it's hard not to come down here and think that, you know, every day that here I am, I got a, my, a tug named after my wife, uh, my son running the tug. And uh, here I am, the port captain over, the, over it. And, uh, and then I got a grandson that's a steersman on it. So, uh, which will be a pilot in the next two and a half years. And uh, he'll be through with his process. So I'll have a grandson running his grandmother's boat. Back when I was 16 years old, this very boat right here, I, that's the boat I trained on. That's where I started cutting my teeth, is on this boat. And uh, so it, we've got, it goes back a long ways. The Hickman River Port and this uh, area down here is actually the, a big economic standpoint for the whole entire part of the Western Kentucky. Uh, the city of Hickman has roughly 2,212 citizens and the Fulton County, the actual county, has over 6,000 folks that actually reside here. Um, and this is a big economical uh, engine for the area due to this area being so big and agricultural. The port director here at the Riverport, his name is Greg Carlin. Uh, Greg Carlin and myself talk to congressional leaders as much as we possibly can uh, to instill the importance of this dredging of this harbor. Each year, uh, Mr. Carlin goes to Washington, D.C. to visit the congressional leaders and to reiterate how important it is for us to receive funding. Um, it's, it's a very, very important fact of the harbor. If the harbor is not dredged, there's times that we have been shut down due to no dredging. Uh, when that happens, of course, it's a big economic uh, downfall on all the businesses here locally in the area. The harbor affects so many local jobs here uh, and companies here that depends on this harbor, just local. And uh, without this harbor, I don't imagine there'd be a heat. You know, I bring the, bar the barges in and out of our harbor, making sure the docks are all took care of. And so you take companies like Riverport, uh, Bungie, uh, Cargill, uh, and CGB, which is the docks we have here. Uh, 
what they'll do, they'll, they'll actually rent these barges from these towboat companies. And uh, they'll buy them from them to put their grain in. And then once they get them loaded, they all go south. The barges that are loaded here actually go down to New Orleans and then go to places as far as China. You know, you're looking at 70 and 80 truckloads per barge of grain. And uh, some of the elevator has got larger belts and larger, you know, they have a, they have a conveyor belt that uh, takes the grain from, from the elevator out to the river. We've got some docks that can load up to five barges in 24 hours. And uh, that's a lot of truck loads. The city of Hickman during the harvest months in a day's time, you will see probably over 400 to 1,000 trucks a day. Uh, this is a very, very busy time of year. All the farmers bring in their corn, beans, um, and wheat and other agricultural products down here. The Dorena Hickman Ferry is located here in Hickman, Kentucky as well, and this ferry is very instrumental in uh, transportation between Hickman, Kentucky and Missouri. There is not a bridge that goes directly from Hickman, Kentucky into Missouri. So this ferry allows you to uh, get there. And if you take the bridge the long way, we'll save you an hour and a half actually by coming across the Dorena Hickman Ferry here in Hickman, Kentucky. This ferry is also able to even take uh, farm trucks to and from uh, Missouri to Kentucky as well. Never would have dreamed that this boat would be named after my wife after all these years, you know, and uh, it's been a blessing. And to see my babies come up and run their grandmother's boat, well, that's, that's just awesome, yeah. Yep, sure is.